Hello there, my name is Aman and in this video I am going to give an introduction on Marketing Cloud Einstein capabilities and different Einstein studios. If you find the video useful, please share in your network. Okay. In Marketing Cloud, Einstein provides powerful pow uh, artificial intelligence to understand your customer's engagement and behavior so you can personalize every interactions. Uh, Salesforce has broken up the Einstein capabilities and its artificial intelligence capabilities into six different studios which are available under the Einstein tile which is available on the dashboard in Marketing Cloud. The six different studios that we have, the first one we starts with is Einstein engagement scoring. We'll talk about all these six studios one by one in next slides. The second one that we have is messaging insights. Third one is send time optimization. Fourth is Einstein frequency. Uh, the fifth is copy insights and the last one is content selection. Uh, before we move forward, I'd like to mention that there is a miscon misconception that <clears throat> is there that Salesforce crowdsource customer data from all of their customers to do this prediction and provide the analysis, which is not true. Salesforce use the, the data which is available in your own account to come up with this all this uh, prediction and analysis. So for example, if a uh, customer X has received email from you in past like 10, 10 emails, Salesforce should provide production prediction on these 10 email sends that you have done, not on all the email sent that he has received from different customers who use Salesforce Marketing Cloud as their MarkTag tool. Okay. Einstein as a functionality in Marketing Cloud is still evolving and most of them came in last release only. So even I might not have answer to all of to many why and why nots in this session but I'll, I'll try my best to answer questions you might have without making any assumptions, okay? Before mo moving forward, uh, just like to mention one more thing. One more thing. Uh, historically, the engagement scoring has always been part of B2B mark tech tools. For example, Pardot had it since the time it started, but with this is new Einstein features, Salesforce has make it available to all of their B2C customers and use cases would certainly be very different than what we have in B2B for engagement uh, scoring uh, capabilities. Okay. Let's moving on. The first studio that we need that I would like to discuss is Einstein engagement scoring. Uh, Einstein engagement scoring provides you with likelihood of a subscriber to open an email, convert into a customer for our case it will be donor or stay, uh, stay subscribed to that. Uh, to, to your communications, okay? We have this, we have the screenshot of the dashboard right here on the screen, if you can see. I'll just give you the brief of these studios today, okay? So this particular features provide you with the insights on subscriber retention, that is how likely is, is he to remain subscribed, provides you with the insights on opens and clicks, you know, how likely is he to open or click your email. And this particular feature can also be used in journeys uh, when you when you create journeys, we have this option to use this feature. Uh, so using this feature, the, the the use case that I can think of at this point is for most of the companies, they can pro, uh, divide their customers in four segments. The first one could be least likely, less likely, more likely, and most likely. If you can see in this screenshot, Salesforce automatically provide these four segments, and based on these four segments, you can send your communications. So for example, you might want to send the best discount voucher or best communication to the customer who is less likely to open the email. So be because if he receives a better discount voucher or something like that, he's more likely to turn into a long term customer. So this could be a couple of strategies you can think about using while you use Einstein engagement scoring. Okay. The next studio that we have is Einstein messaging insights. Uh, I, 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 we talked about it a bit before as well. Einstein Messaging Insights provides you with anomaly uh, in your email sent that could be there, but it's again, it's not certain that you have any anomaly in the email sent. It's just try to predict that. So for example, if an email sent that you did last month has received too much opens or clicks than, than we expected or the Einstein expected, it will provide you with an alert so you can take a prompt action on that. Okay, so for example, if you send something on some communication and many customers unsubscribe using that email, so it, it can provide you insights on that, that was there something in that communication you, because of which there is a, a more likely in the unsubscribes, okay? 
this features provides you with alerts right there on the dashboard in marketing cloud if you see the screen just next to your username there is an option where you can see all the notification that came into your account or into your user recently okay so from right here you can see the recent sends that you did and if there is any anomaly and you can uh, you can uh, act on that uh, proactively okay but again this is not certain that there is an anomaly just try to predict that behavior third studio that i like to discuss is einstein send time optimization uh, this particular features helps uh, customer to send right email to the right, right customer at the right time okay so uh, to to give you a use case on this or an example <clears throat> uh for example if custom if someone opens their inbox at 2 o'clock uh, when they are having lunch and you might want to send them the email right there on that particular time when they are looking at their inbox and because that is that is the time when he is more likely to open or click on that email so that is the particular use case that you can accomplish with einstein send time optimization it helps you send the right message at the right time okay so you in this feature you beat out on your inbox competition that is there okay because if you are sending it right there when he is looking at it he is more likely to open it you can automate sending using journey builder to save time so the feature is available to be used in journey builder and you can use use it to segment your customers and send the uh, the appropriate message at the right time okay mm, the next feature that the next studio that we have is einstein engagement frequency uh, this advises you on how frequently you are contacting with your customers or how frequently you should contact with them okay so it technically creates a list of your saturated and unsaturated contacts when it says saturated contacts these are the contacts who have received enough communication from you in recent time and might not want to receive communications for some time in future again i said try to predict this behavior it is again not certain or sure and when i say unsaturated contacts that means these customers have not received enough communication and might want or might appreciate your further communications in future <clears throat> uh this particular studio primarily use open rate as the metric so based on open rate of a customer in past it try to define or push them into the saturated category or unsaturated category you can change the success metric that we have from open to click or unsubscribe also so accordingly till act or push contacts into saturated or unsaturated contact category this feature can also be used in journey builder so you can send a different kind of communication to saturated customer and a different kind of communication to unsaturated customers uh this uh, feature creates automatically creates two data extension in marketing cloud i have the names available right here on the screens so i, I, I think it's self explanatory that it when you create the seg, uh, when you go into this particular studio you uh, with the click of a button you can push the updated data of saturated and unsaturated contacts into this data extension the first one will contain under saturated contacts and the second one will contain over saturated contacts contacts and you can use this segmented data to to for your future communications okay uh, at this point these two data extensions are not available in in our account i am working with salesforce to get this enabled and after that we'll be able to push the saturated and unsaturated contacts into this dis okay mm, the next studio that i'd like to discuss is the einstein copy insights mm, this particular features analyze the subject lines that you are using in email sends this features identify the the emotional tone that you are using in subject lines and it also identifies or try to analyze the phrases and punctuation that you are using and based on that it provides you with a feedback or the impression and also give you some feedback of how you can change the tone or if you should change the tone a bit okay in the right side you can see i have the screenshot available where uh, the subject line is there in the left and marketing cloud provides insights in in terms of uh, a five star rating in the right so if the if the emotional tone it bit more aggressive or bit more or is it polite on the basis of that it provides some feedback i even i have not used it personally yet but uh, this is what they mention in the documentation just a note here uh, in future salesforce has planned 
to extend this feature to analyze the complete email content that we have uh, at this point it just optimize it just analyze the subject lines uh, on the on the basis of emotional tone of phrases and subject uh, and the punctuations okay this actually be a, a very nice and interesting feature to use okay moving on to i think the last studio that we have the last one that we have is einstein content selection this is the one which i am from which i am very impressed uh, it helps us send content that is personalized to each customer okay it works very similar with the ab testing that we have in marketing cloud but uh, you'll not have to rely on the customers to provide you with uh, the open and click data or the feedback for example in ab testing we do an ab test on a segment and b segment and send the communication or the winner email to rest of the audience or the reminder audience as we say it but here you'll not have to rely on those a and b segment einstein automatically comes up with the right kind of asset or the uh, content for each customer okay so this feature is available to you be used in content builder while creating emails as you can see in this screenshot right here you might have noticed this before as well it use clicks as the success metric so on the basis of click it it try to define which particular type of content uh, would the customer prefer to receive i can think of a use case here for example if you have a gif and an image available with you and you you want to be sure which one would be the better version you can create a einstein content selection block and use both these contents gif and image and einstein would automatically pick the right type of asset for the right customer so, and the the way it will pick is for example if the if if historically that particular contact has had have had more clicks on a gif as compared to e image then he's more more likely to see a gif again from you in the in the next email sent so that's how it 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 try to figure out the preferred version of the email or the content uh this particular feature gets smarter with time as as i said because it needs the historical data of the clicks so the more actively you use this feature the more smarter it gets with time okay in the bottom you have the screenshot of the dashboard that we have which display how many assets available in the einstein content selection tile at this point how many are active and how many are expired and there is a timeline also that you need to define when using this asset so for in our example of gif and image you actually define a timeline of 30 days or 60 days the the same way we define timeline in ab testing so you define if you see in the dashboard itself i have the uh, timeline here expiring timeline which is 7 days for the first asset and 30 days for the another asset 